Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you've never written any Python code in your whole life, then if you follow through with this video, I promise you that by the end of this video, you'll be able to write and run your first Python program. So let's jump right into it. Before we get started, does it actually make sense to start out your Python programming journey by writing a Python program rather than actually learning about the concepts and the basics of the Python programming language. The truth is, yes, it does make a lot of sense for two reasons. The first reason is, first of all, you need to make sure that your Python setup, your dev environment is set up correctly and your Python environment is functional. If you don't know how to set up Python on your machine, I talked in a previous video about how to do that. So if you don't know, go back to this other video and then come back here. This is the first reason. You want to make sure that Python is set up correctly on your machine and you're able to write and run Python programs. The second reason is it gives you an early sense of achievement. You'll feel like you achieved something by writing and running a Python program right away. Okay, and this is exceptionally important for people who are absolute beginners to programming in general. You know, there are two audiences I have here. There are some folks who are coming to Python from other programming languages. These people are going to be fine. And then there are other people who are absolute beginners to programming in general, not just Python. For these people, if you're an absolute beginner, starting out with writing a program is very important because like I said, it gives you like this early sense of achievement. It motivates you and it, and it gives you the impression that things are not really as hard as it might seem. So this is a very important first step that I highly encourage you to start with. Now, what program should we start with? Traditionally speaking, developers or programmers who wanted to learn a new programming language, they start out with something called a hello world program. A hello world program is a very simple program that basically prints the sentence hello world on the screen, whether it's on your laptop screen, your monitor, it doesn't matter. So you have a sentence, hello world, and you want to print out this sentence on the screen. This is basically what a hello world program is. And it's very simple. In any programming language, the simplest thing you could possibly do is just print something on the screen. And that's why we are going to start with this. So for context, here is how you write a hello world program in C++. And here's how you do the same thing in Java. Now let's look at how a hello world program will look like in Python. You will be impressed, I promise. Now, what I'm going to do now is I am going to write a Python program and run the Python program, the hello world program, using three different methods. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to teach you from the beginning that there's not a single way to write a Python program and run a Python program. There are many ways you can do that. So I will go through three different ways and I'll explain what's happening in each of these cases. So let's get started. I will start by the Python interactive shell. So to start the Python interactive shell, we just type Python 3, and then to write a hello world in Python, all you need to do is type this. Say print, open parentheses, double quotes, and then the sentence that you want to print out on the screen. So let's say here, hello world, and then another double quotes, and then we close the parentheses. And now before we press enter, let me explain something real quick. Let me explain what we just did here. This is the sentence, this is the command or the function that you have to use to be able to print something out on the screen. We start by print and print is a built-in function in Python that is basically used to print things out on the screen. Of course, I'm now assuming things about you. I'm assuming that you know what a function is. If you're coming to Python from another programming language, you probably know what a function is. But if you're an absolute beginner, you probably don't know what a function is, but don't worry about it. I will explain what functions are in great depth at a later video. But for now, I just want you to understand that print is something in Python that allows you to print sentences out on the screen. 
Inside the parentheses, you type what you want to be printed out on the screen. In this case, we want to print out hello world, and that's why we are inputting hello world inside the parentheses of the print function. Another thing I want to mention here is that it's very important to enclose the sentence hello world by either double quotes or single quotes. In this case, I'm enclosing it with double quotes. And the reason why this is the case is because this is how you can communicate to Python that this sentence, hello world, is what we call a string. Again, I don't want to assume that you know what a string is, but basically you can think of a string as a sequence of characters. So if you want to communicate to Python to print out a sequence of characters on the screen, then you have to enclose this sequence of characters by either double quotes or single quotes, okay? Now, if you press enter, you get hello world printed out on the screen. And as you can see, this is the beauty of using the interactive shell because again, the interactive shell gives you an instant feedback about what's happening. You just input a command, you input a function, and the result is printed out on the screen right away. But this is not how you would usually write Python programs. You would need editors to do that. So let's actually exit from the interactive shell and start out an editor. So there are two types of editors. There is an editor that you can use on your terminal. For example, let's say you are on a Mac or you're using Linux or even Windows. You can use editors that work on the terminals or you can have a graphical user interface editor or you can also have an IDE, an integrated development environment. But for now, let's start with just a simple text editor on the terminal. So on a Mac, because I'm using a Mac or a Linux, there are two popular, there are two popular editors. There's something called Vim and there's something called Emacs. I use Vim, so I'll be using Vim as an example to write a Hello World program. So let's get started with that. So to create a file on Vim, you basically say Vim and then the name of the file that you wanna create. Let's call it hello.py. Now I'm going to write the same thing, print hello world, and let's save this file. Let's make sure that the file is written correctly. So if I say cat hello.py, it prints out the content of the file hello.py. And as you can see, it's just a simple text inside the hello.py. And this is something I want to emphasize here is Python source code, the code that you write is nothing more than text. It's just text. So there's nothing magical. You don't need some fancy IDE or some fancy editor to be able to start writing Python on your machine. All you need is a program that allows you to input text and save this text on your hard drive. That's all you need. And using Vim is an example of that. It's a very simple editor that allows you to write some text in it and it just saves it. It has, it has no idea that what you typed inside of it is actually Python code. The thing that will understand this text and interpret it as a Python code and actually run it on your machine is the Python interpreter. And to invoke the Python interpreter, you just say Python 3 and then the name of the file that you want to interpret. In this case, the file name is hello.py. Now, if we press enter, now you can see that hello world is printed out on the screen. And this is how you run any Python code. You write your source code basically as a text, and then you need to invoke the Python interpreter to be able to run this code. Interpret this code as Python and then run this code on your machine, okay? Now let's try a fancier editor. Let's try something like a graphical user interface. There are many editors that you can use. I personally prefer um, Visual Studio Code uh, just because it has some plugins for basically every programming language that you can think of. So I use the same editor for all the programming languages, but it doesn't really matter. If you have another preference, by all means, just use whatever editor you want. If you prefer IDEs like PyCharm, by all means, use that as well. It's gonna be the same concept. So let me open Visual Studio Code. And then here, I'm just gonna create a new file and then print hello world again, and then let's save this file. Let's call it hello2.py. And now to run this program on Visual Studio Code, all I need to do is just right click and then run Python file in terminal. 
and then it runs it. And as you can see, I also got the hello world printed out on the screen. But if you look down here to see what Visual Studio Code did to be able to run this program, it basically did the same thing that we did earlier from the terminal. It invoked the Python interpreter on the file that we just created on the hello2.py. And that's why it's, it's very useful. It's very useful to try to be on the terminal as long as you can. Because if you're using a fancy editor or a fancy IDE, sometimes you don't understand what's really happening under the hood. You don't understand what this IDE is, is doing. And it's not doing anything that is magical. It's basically doing the same thing that you would have done if you were to run the Python program on the terminal yourself. Okay, so I really wanted to make that clear. I don't recommend if you're starting out to use something like Vim or Emacs to write your code. I don't recommend that. So by all means, use a fancy editor or a fancy IDE to write your Python programs. But I highly encourage that you use the Python command from the terminal to actually run your program. And this tip applies to any programming language that you want to learn, not only Python. And with that, congratulations, you just wrote and ran your first Python program, and you are all set to start diving in and learn more about Python. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.